so now let's implement that card UI widget so inside the all widgets right click on all widgets new dot file you will give it name as VPN underscore location underscore card VPN location card underscore widget import material dot dot we will create stateless widget we will give it name as VPN location card widget it will return a card widget and this VPN location card widget will receive one thing as a parameter and that is basically the VPN info so we will give it name as VPN info which contain the VPN information we move this const from it and we can say comma required this dot VPN info in here we will create instance of our controller which is our home controller so we can say home controller get dot find home controller home make sure to import get get dot dot so now let's display the information on this card first of all we will set elevation for this card which will be 6 and then the margin for this will be edge inserts dot symmetric vertical it will be according to the screen size we will set so the variable which is size screen we have to initialize here dot of con context dot size so we can say size screen dot height whatever the screen height is we will take point zero one percent of it the shape will be round rectangle border border radius border radius dot circular and it will be 16 child inkwell that is when the user click on any country or you can say any VPN location we have to start the VPN for it so we can say on tap that is something that we will implement later on for now let's just quickly complete the UI border radius border radius dot circular 16 child list style round rectangle border border radius border radius circular it will be 16 and then after shape we have leading that is at the left side of our list style or you can say at the left side of our cart UI we want to display the country flag which is you can say the location that is from which country it is so you can say container padding edge inserts dot all we apply some padding on it from all sides and that will be 0.5 percent let's set decoration to it box decoration border and 
border dot all black 12 border radius will be border radius dot circular 16 then after the box decoration you can display the flag so you can say child image dot asset from the country flags folder so you can say country country flags inside it you can say VPN info dot country short name dot to lower case specify the image type which is PNG so whatever the country flag is we will just pick it up from our country flags and we will display it then after it let's also apply some properties on our image dot asset for example height will be 40 then the width will be whatever the screen width is we will take point 15 percent of it fit box fit dot cover so first we display the country flag at the leading leading simply means at the left side or you can say at the start of our card or you can say at the start of our list style as you know this list style is a child of this card uh, this card widget okay so anyways let me add here a comment country flag then we will display the country name so we can simply say title and the title of our list style using text widget we can display the country name country long name then at the subtitle we will display the VPN speed which we are receiving for the location or country in the list for each location so we can say subtitle alongside with it we will display icon as well the icons will be shuttle underscore speed the color for this let's set it to colors dot reticent and the size for this will be 20 after it we will add some space of width 4 is enough and then we will display the speed value So the speed value we can get from our VPN info, which is VPN info dot speed. But one thing is uh, we want to also display the uh, unit of it, whether it is uh, BPS byte per second, KB per second, MB per second, GB per second, or terabyte per second so for that purpose uh, we have to implement a method so above here the widget build I'm going to implement here a method in which we will set the speed in which format it is coming that is how much speed it is coming so we can say format speed bytes integer bytes which is basically our speed bytes 
and then int decimals so we have to specify it we can say if the speed bytes which we are seeing as a response from the API of course we will pass to this method which we are receiving here by this name speed bytes okay so whenever we call this method we will call it now after a few minutes so we will pass the bytes to it the speed bytes to it as a parameter which will receive here inside this variable so if that speed byte is less than or equals to zero then we will return zero byte zero byte will be the speed then after it let uh, initialize suffixes we can say suffix is title so first we have bps that is byte per second then kb per second then mb per second gb per second and terabyte per second We can say variable let's give it name as formatted speed or we can just give it simple name speed this is the formula which we are writing now for converting the speeds into these format depending upon the speed bytes which we are receiving for each VPN server okay so the formula is log speed bytes we will take log of the speed bytes and then we will divide it by the log of 1024 that is 1024 1024 and then we will take floor of it that is dot floor so this will basically give us the speed which we assign to the speed variable and then we will return first put double quotes dollar curly braces and in here at parenthesis and we can say speed bytes divide by power of x so one 1024 x will be that and exponent will be our speed and then we will say dot to string as fixed to the decimal which simply means that this decimal simply means after point after point how much will use you want so let's say if we pass the decimal one then after point it will take the one value if we pass here decimal two then it simply means after point it will take the two values like this for example let me show it to you point means this okay if one decimal then it will be up to this and if two decimal then it will be up like this okay after point two values which will be done using this to string as fixed which is dot programming language built in method so fix it to decimal this and then we can say suffixes title that is we will display the suffix title for it which will be according to the speed now let me tell you what we done here this is basically select this speed okay select it like this right click on it refractor rename and then you can say speed title index 
okay so it will change it automatically press enter then it will change it automatically here as well as here now let me tell you what we have done here first of all you already know that if the speed bias is less than or equals to zero it means we are getting zero speed zero byte speed then we initialize our suffixes title bps kbps up to terabyte per second now this formula which we write here what it will do it will basically return us uh, value in integer form it will be either 0 1 2 3 4 for example 0 is BPS 1 is KB per second 2 is MB per second third index or 3 value will be GB per second and fourth will be TB per second so this will have from 0 to 4 number okay so what we do here this specific formula which we write here this one this will basically get the speed okay and alongside with that speed we display the title so either it is bps kbps mbps it will just display that it will just display that okay from the suffixes title we just pass that index number okay ranging from 0 to 4 which will come as a response uh, as the I mean at the result of this execution of this formula which will either give us the result 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 okay so according to that we display the title okay so yeah then uh, now as we have it so now we can format the speed so before displaying the VPN info speed uh, VP, uh, the speed of our VPN connection we can call that method which is format speed bytes and to this we will pass the speed bytes which is VPN info dot speed and then the second thing is the decimal so we want uh, after point we want two digits so two and yeah if you want you can apply some textile on it the font size will be 13 now this was our VPN speed after this at the trailing we will display the total number of people connected to the current uh, VPN location so you can say number of sessions and trailing simply means the end or you can say at the right side of our list tile or you can say at the right side of our cart so you can say trailing row widget vpn info dot VPN sessions number we get and we display it then apply some style on it textile the color will be theme dot of context dot light text color after this we will add some space of width 4 and then after the size box we will display an icon so this is all about our VPN location card widget now we have to just call it and we have to pass our VPN information to it